Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with another server review. This week we have the tasty little treat for you, our first HP server with AMD's new Epic processor, the 2U 2Socket HPE ProLiant DL385 Gen 10. HP says this system can reduce the cost per virtual machine by up to 50%. It also offers significant increases in performance, plus increased security features. This platform is perfect for virtualization, memory-centric applications, and is a match for the most demanding enterprise workloads. Where to begin? Let's start with those AMD Epic processors, which promise to give Intel a serious run for their money. They offer more memory channels, more PCI lanes, more cache, and more cores. More on that later. Along with those new processors comes support for up to two terabytes of DDR4 memory per processor, or four terabytes total. For increased performance, it will also support up to 24 NVMe drives and up to three double-wide GPUs. HPE has also stated that it can deliver up to a 50% lower cost per virtual machine than traditional server solutions. Is that a dig at Intel? It also promises unmatched security with HPE's silicone root of trust paired with AMD's EPIC secure processor with secure memory encryption and secure encrypted virtualization, features which will undoubtedly excite the enterprise and cloud service providers. The system we have here today is a base configuration. It has a single EPIC 7152 CPU with eight cores, a base clock of 2.1 gigahertz, 32 megabytes of L3 cache, and supports a maximum memory speed of 2400 megahertz. Turbo Boost is supported at 2.9 gigahertz. The HPE SmartArray P408iA RAID controller delivers 12 gigabit per second SAS connectivity with compatible internal storage devices. Two gigabyte write back cache helps reduce latency in write intensive applications like databases. The P408iA is a Gen 10 controller that has a number of features designed to protect your data and detect potential drive issues before they occur. A single 16 gigabyte memory module is included and no HDs were part of the configuration directly from the factory. Before we get any further, I just wanted to mention that IT Creations carries the HPE ProLiant DL385 Gen 10, and for a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. To see pricing on this system, click that link, and while you're at it, check out IT Creations' other great deals on complete systems and components. We also custom configure to your specifications. Okay, now let's check out that storage on the system. Like the DL380 Gen 10 featuring the Intel Xeon scalable processors, it supports the same internal storage configurations including up to 30 SFF drives with 24 up front and 6 in the optional PCIe mounted rear drive cages. An 8-bay SFF version with optional universal media bay that supports SFF or NVMe drive options. Another 8-bay version that supports LFF drives with a universal media bay that can also support a few drives. And then there's one that supports 12 LFF drives plus an optional 4 LFF drive midplane and two more drive cages in the back of the system supporting 3 LFF and 2 SFF drives respectively for a total of 19 LFF drives plus 2 SFF drives. Four of the configurations support in excess of 230 terabytes and powering all those drives is either a 500 watt, 800 watt or 1600 watt flex slot platinum hot swap power supply. Oh, and there are also two embedded M.2 drive connectors on the system board. A bunch of notes are included with these configurations stating that you can have this with that, but not that with this, and so on and so forth. Bottom line, the modular chassis supports a myriad of drive configurations. With a full complement of drives and the addition of rear drives, GPUs, or NVMe configurations, you'll need a high-performance fan kit. An NVMe or premium drive cage is required to support the NVMe drives, and you will need to pair those NVMe drives with PCI cards. And what about that universal media bay I just mentioned? That too can support more drives, like two SFF HDDs or two NVMe drives plus a few USB 2.0 ports and optional optical drive. That'd be for the SFF chassis version, but there's also a universal media bay for the LFF chassis configuration. The optical drive is standard on performance models. I could go on about storage configurations for another minute or two, but let's take a closer look at those EPIC processors. AMD's EPIC 7000 series processors are indeed EPIC. There is no chipset scattered around the motherboard like on a system that supports Intel Xeons because the EPIC processors have a system-on-chip design. They offer core counts ranging from 8 to 32, support 8 memory channels per processor, and 128 lanes of PCI 3.0 goodness. The L3 cache is also quite impressive at 32 megabytes or 64 megabytes depending on your choice. With the core count and features presented by the EPIC processors, HPE says you can realize a 50% lower cost per virtual machine compared to a traditional server solution. The EPIC processor supports eight memory channels with each channel supporting two memory module slots for 16 memory slots per processor. In total, that means 32 active memory slots in a two processor configuration. If you're curious, that's eight more memory slots than the Intel Xeon based DL380 Gen 10, which has 24 memory slots. Memory speeds include 2133, 2400, and 2666 mega transfers per second. 
and all EPIC processors will support a maximum of two terabytes of memory each. Only DDR4 registered and load reduced memory modules are supported with HPE's smart memory recommended for enhanced performance. That said, if you want to load the full four terabyte capacity, you will need to use LR DIMMs as registered DIMMs will only support up to one terabyte with two processors. Again, memory speed is a function of the speed of the memory, memory configuration, and processor selection. One of the unique features on this system is secure memory encryption provided by the EPIC processors, which allows you to encrypt all the memory or just a portion. Management of the system is provided by the embedded HPE integrated lights out standard with intelligent provisioning. HPE OneView standard is also available free for download and takes a software approach to managing infrastructure with an intuitive dashboard interface to manage workflow automation. The enhanced security results from EPIC's system-on-a-chip architecture, which will only allow validated firmware to run at boot, and checks the firmware every 24 hours. And along with the secure encrypted memory, secure encrypted virtualization gives the virtual machines and the hypervisor separate encryption keys, effectively insulating each VM from each other and the hypervisor. One micro SD card slot is standard equipment, along with a few USB 3.0 ports front and back, plus two secure internal ports. Those two internal USBs can be used to store disk images, preserving upfront middle and rear storage devices for virtualization. The optional universal media bay will also add two more USB 2.0 ports and is standard on the 8LFF chassis. An integrated video standard supports resolutions of up to 1920 by 1200 pixels and also supports ILO 5.0 on system management memory. Depending on your choice of risers, storage options or GPUs, the system will support up to eight PCIe 3.0 slots. With a single processor, the system has up to four active PCIe slots, utilizing the primary riser slot with a second processor required to support the secondary and tertiary risers. Rear storage cage options will take up all of the PCIe slots in the primary, secondary, and tertiary risers. The GPU option, which can run either three double wide or five single slot computational accelerators, will also take up most of those slots. It ships with four embedded one gigabit ports with an optional stand-up card or flexible LAN on motherboard. The flexible LAN has a dedicated slot on the motherboard and can be easily switched out to accommodate other network connection speeds. There are many options for both the flexible LAN module or stand-up cards that support 1 gigabit Ethernet, 10 gigabit Ethernet, and combo dual 10 gigabit Ethernet with 25 gigabit Ethernet. InfiniBand is also supported providing one or two ports of 100 gigabit per second connectivity each with enhanced data rate. Hard drives can be controlled by the embedded HPE SmartArray S100ISR Gen 10 software RAID, which is off by default. The S100ISR also supports the two embedded M.2 connectors located on the system board for super fast boot or additional storage. There are several other HPE Smart Array controllers for both internal and external storage and performance RAID controllers that will require the HPE Smart Storage battery. The battery provides backup power for multiple HPE Smart Array controllers or other devices and is required when using a performance RAID controller. The HPE ProLiant DL385 Gen 10 with AMD EPIC processors is a great option for virtualization and in-memory applications with up to four terabytes of memory and up to 32 cores. From a cost standpoint, the new AMD EPIC processors offer a better value in comparison to Intel Xeon scalable processors and could provide businesses with a faster return on investment and a noticeable reduction in initial cost. It does seem as though the EPIC processors, along with HPE's silicone root of trust, provide unprecedented security for businesses running virtualization and memory intensive workloads and will undoubtedly take a larger share of those categories. Well, that's it for our review of HPE's ProLiant DL385 Gen 10. If you have any questions on this server or any other, just post your question in the comments section below. I've also placed a few links in the description section for pricing and for more information on the system. Give us the thumbs up if you liked our video. And if you're looking for an alternative to purchasing from the manufacturer, then check out IT Creations. I'm Doug Stewman, and thanks for watching.